Hello and welcome to another video from Kenson Kerman. Okay, so we're sticking with the UFO from the previous video. But also, as promised in the previous video, we're going to go and have a look at the hole on Moho. But before we leave, I'm just making a few minor tweaks to the UFO that I kept meaning to do in the previous video but kept forgetting to do. And on my first attempt I found that I didn't have any communication system set up so uh, I had to quickly arrange some communication satellites around MOHO so that I could control the unmanned UFO from the comfort of the Kerbal Space Centre. So here I'm just cheating the three satellites into uh, equidistant orbit and uh, quite a long way out so that it should be able to see at least one of the satellites at all times. So the UFO is going to need an antenna as well. So I just want to stick one right in the middle on the nose there but it wouldn't have it. It just wouldn't put it exactly where I wanted it. And so we tried a few other places and uh, we, we end up with this dual antenna. I think I put three of them. Yeah, there's three three around that uh, outer rim. That should be enough to talk to the satellite. And um, let's just have some green lights in there like that. There we go, right. So off we go. Right, well we're in orbit around Moho on a an orbit that crosses directly over the North Pole, which is where the Mohole Hole, no, the Moho Hole is. Um, so we've reduced the speed too much, so we're not going to make it there. So we just got to boost the speed and altitude a bit, so we can actually get to the Moho Hole. I got it right that time. That'll be enough to get us to the hole. Time warp. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? It's here somewhere. Okay, so we've got the hole in sight. We've just got to try and get in above it. Not too far. <laughs> Gently. A bit more. There we go. That'll do. Right. So there we go. We've sort of just entered the hole at an altitude of something like 4,800 metres. Let's see how deep it goes. I'm trying to keep the UFO in the middle of the hole, but uh, spinning it around like that doesn't help because now I've no idea which direction. Oh. As I was saying, <laughs> I have no, no idea of what direction it's pointing in. So we crashed into the wall with the hole and that's the end of that one. So back to the quick save. And here we are again, just about to enter the hole. And I think the crater rims, I said 4,800 meters. So, <coughs> Try and keep it in the middle. Oh, don't go up. Oh, don't go into the wall. Which way are you facing? That's me. That's it. Move away from that wall. Oh, forward a bit. Forward a bit. Yeah, that's quite central. It's looking good. So we've just gone down to 2,000 below, or 1,500 metres now. We still haven't reached the bottom. It's getting narrower. So we're doing this nice and slowly. And even slower. Make sure we're in the middle of the hole. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. getting tight now. Just move into the middle a bit further, get in the middle, get over a bit. 
Ooh, steady. Oh, no. Oh, don't blow up. <laughs> get off the wall. Get off the wall. There we go. So we're down nearly 200 metres, and we're at the bottom of the hole at 205 metres. Well, we haven't actually reached the very, very bottom of the hole, but um, that's as far down as the UFO is going to go. Um, I don't know if 205 metres is relevant. It doesn't look like there's another 205 metres till it reaches the pinpoint at the very bottom of the hole. I've just done an Alt F5 save, um, which is a save where you can give it a name and it keeps it in the saved uh, game list so that we can come back and try this again if it goes wrong. Oh, look at that. It's almost like I knew that was going to happen. So here we go, we try again. And uh, this time we keep it nice and central and giving it full thrust so we can blast out the top of the moho hole and back out into outer space. So we can try that again. So what I've done, I've done an Alt F9 uh, to load the save from the save list that I did earlier. And I thought I'd have a go at spinning the UFO out of the hole as well. But it doesn't take long before the walls are too far away that uh, the lights don't really uh, make much difference. So we end this video with the UFO having successfully navigated down the Moho hole and also blasted back out of the Moho hole into space where it spins off into the distance. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and check back soon for more videos.